We are live for the third game of our triple header here on Mike Sports Experience. We started the day with Oregon pulling off a big upset over South Carolina. We just watched Gonzaga drub McNeese, just absolutely destroy them. Caught the tail end of Kentucky uh, getting upset as well. 14 over a three seed, Oakland defeating them. Uh, 80 to 76. Uh, now we got number seven seeded Washington State versus number 10 Drake. And tip off should be coming at any moment. Let's look at some other games around the league. We got St. Peter's in Tennessee. Tennessee putting an absolute whooping on St. Peter's like they should be. 36 to 15. Um, earlier, Michigan State defeating Mississippi State. Uh, as we mentioned, Oregon over South Carolina. 11 seed beating a 6. 87 73. Um, just been an interesting game day all around. Three games still left tonight. Uh, Washington State Drake, of course, which we're doing right now. North Carolina State and Texas Tech tipping off in a moment. Number 11 and number 6. I'm going to call another 11 over a 6 seed upset. I'm going to say North Carolina State upsets Texas Tech. Uh, then the late game kicking off just after this one. Samford and Kansas 13 against a 4 seed. Uh, but we're going to stay here, at least for the moment, um, as long as this game stays competitive between Washington State and Drake. I am Seattle Mike. You're watching Mike's Sports Experience. And I uh, hope you're a Washington fan. I'm going to heckle you the entire time. No, just kidding. Everyone, everyone is welcome. Robert says, Comedy! <laughs> Notified. Thank you, Adam. Good to know. And people got the notifications. I didn't know if another notification would go out today because I had two streams already and one short. So I didn't know if that would be considered a notification. Good to know. Because they tell you you only get three notifications a day. So that's very good to know. I know a lot of you, the fights with friends, crew in here. We're not done covering comedy, guys. Or excuse me, MMA. You got comedy on my mind now, Robert. What's wrong with you? Um, no, uh, we're covering MMA tomorrow. We didn't forget Bellator. Um, kind of an early one tomorrow. I was just looking that up, and the Bellator site just absolutely... I mean, I thought it was bad when Paramount owned it. Now that PFL owns it, it's even worse. So I had to go to Tapology and get an actual time... Oh, holy shit. That starts at 9 a.m. in the morning tomorrow. And it's it, they've moved to HBO Max. For those that don't know, it's the only way you can watch Bellator now. It's HBO Max, or you'll just have to come in here and get the uh, get the free play-by-play. -play. Uh, I will not be covering the prelims on this. I will not be starting at 9 tomorrow, though, guys. I'm going to start it at noon tomorrow, maybe, but not 9. <laughs> Should cover comedy as well. I don't know what I'd do with comedy. Shared in both groups as well, Mike. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate you, my man. You are on it. And is it too late for an energy drink? I don't know. It's 7 o'clock at night, but we got a full another game going, right? So... If you don't have HBO Max for Bellator tomorrow, might not be a bad thing to look into if you like movies, if you like good shows. They got the new Wonka movie on there. Uh, I sat down and watched that with the family. I, it, it was incredible. Um, incredible show. I loved the first Willy Wonka, of course, with Gene Wilder. 
If you're worried about that one being wrecked, don't. This is a prequel, and I thought they did a, a, a damn good job. All right, Drake Bulldogs, 28 and 6, facing the number seven Washington State Cougars, who were 24 and 9 during the regular season. Yeah, I just don't know what we'd do with comedy. So here's the thing. I have been working, Robert, on a comedy act. But I don't know. I think that's a third channel altogether. Third, fourth, fifth. I assume I'm going to have five channels anyways. I can't go. I don't want to go above that, though, because that seems like too much to keep track of. But I've already kind of decided. That's my goal is to get five channels monetized. And then I'll just, you know, continue to pump out as much content as I can for everything and see where it goes. I'm waiting until I get mushrooms again to watch the new Wonka movie. That's a good idea, dude. I, I wish I had some mushrooms for that one. I did have a couple edibles, but uh, I might double up on the edibles and watch it again. WSU, a one and a half point underdog in this one, despite being the higher seed. Might actually get the Wonka Mushroom Bars, just to keep it in theme with them. Oh, they have that? That's awesome. All right, and the tip goes to Washington State. Washington State Cougars versus the Drake Bulldogs. And no, this is not a Drake Bulldog hat. This is a Gonzaga Bulldog hat. Washington State with the ball on the perimeter. Number 23, shooting the three from the corner. Looked like he looked like it was there, but could not drain it. And here comes Drake, six straight seasons with 20-plus wins for them. Hook shot, looked like a good shot from 51, but can't get it to go uh, for Drake. And he'll pass it to the inside to the big man. Back out to number two. We'll see. Are we going to take another perimeter shot here? Four seconds on the shot clock. Three. He's going to have to. And that's a brick. That did not hit the rim. So that's going to be a shot clock violation. WSU still to make sure to come down with the ball just so, you know, Drake can't get some fast break points here but no score in the first minute of this game Tucker DeVries number 12 for Drake bringing the ball up long three for DeVries and that misses Number 13 for Washington State will inbound the ball. Fourteen conference wins this season for Washington State, most in their history. Good ball movement along the inside, outside for Washington State. Attacks the basket. Beautiful defense by Drake. There's the block. 51 taking the jumper and misses 13 with the rebound there for Washington State. And number zero attacking the basket, getting his own rebound on the miss. There's a three point attempt for Washington State, and that's the first score of the ball game. Two and a half minutes in this game uh, till someone scored. And finally, it is Washington 3-0. So maybe, maybe hit that under if you're betting right now. That is a long three from Drake. Um, they managed to get the rebound. And they shoot another number 10, and he nails that one. That's right. Number 10 for Duke. Or excuse me, uh, for Drake. Close to Duke. <laughs> Close.
Close on the night. All right, Washington State with the ball underneath. Number two shoots a jumper. He thought about the three. Decides not to. Hits the jumper. And we got a 5-3 ball game. Rice, number two with the shot here a moment ago. Here comes Drake. Oh, number 12 to the hoop for Drake. And it's a tie ball game. DeVrice, Larry Bird, MVC Player of the Year, number 12 for Drake. And Washington State bringing the ball up. Number 13, posted up, finding a mound wide open to 45. And he crushes it. That's 45, Cliff. Twelve on the shot clock for Drake as they pass it around the along the perimeter. Number fifty one on a double team shoots the hook anyways. Air ball. Washington State gets the rebound up by two. Oh, what a pass! What a pass from Rice to Cliff, but they turn it over and then Drake a sloppy pass the other direction though off a of Wright's foot it looks like, and that'll go back to the Cougs. 7-5 early Washington State from Omaha, Nebraska. Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. Anybody new, anybody in the chat that is not from Fights with Friends, um, a, a regular, anybody that's not a regular over on Fights with Friends, uh, just found us. Um, maybe you just found us for the NCAA coverage. Let us know. I thought last night, I thought I had, uh, I thought I'd figured out that blurriness that I get sometimes with the camera, but uh, I think it's just because I move around so much and then it confuses the camera. What's up, Justin Roberts? What? Me. All right. Hey, right now I'm just drinking on some uh, H2O and some Rockstar, man. Third stream of the night. Hey, thanks for joining us. Who's your team, brother? And where are you from? We're doing streams at all day, pretty much every day for the NCAA tournament. Um, of course, I, I'm a little Gonzaga Bulldogs fan here. You see the shirt and the hat. And, but uh, Washington State fan here, too. Natty Ice is Justin's drunken charge. Yes, Robert down with the Natty Ice. Robert's down with the sickness. Duke from Carolina. You're a Duke fan in Carolina. Do you let people know that? No. No, just messing with you. And there's another big Duke fan in here, Billy Hughes. Um, long time uh, member here and uh, sometimes co-host. He's a big Duke fan too. Welcome back. Welcome back. What's up? Seven in the house. Everybody welcome Justin Roberts. New face to the stream. Uh, another Duke fan. Seven in the house. Cheers, buddy. Yes. All right, everybody, don't forget to hit that like button if you're not subscribed. Well, if I see you in the chat, I know you're subscribed. If you can't chat and you're trying to, it's because you're not subscribed. So make sure and take care of that now. Guys, We uh, this is just a channel for sports maniacs now. Uh, I mean, multiple streams. We're just pumping out content, live content left and right. March Madness, this is my third stream of the day, uh, our third stream of the day. Um, three different games. <clears throat> Washington State bringing the ball up, down by, or excuse me, up by two. Pass it inside to number 20. The little baby hook gets it to go.
And nine to five. And my condolences to the Kentucky Wildcats uh, fans out there. I know you did not expect that out of your season, but uh, congratulations to Oakland. The Oakland Golden Grizzlies pulling off the biggest upset so far this tournament. And there's a big jumper from number 12 for Drake. That's DeVries again. And it's a two-point ball game. 9-7 Washington State with the ball. Number 20 posted up, misses the hook, and here comes Drake. I need Drake to pull this out. No. <laughs> you got a bet going, I'm assuming. <laughs> I hate to root against the, uh, anybody in here ever, but I have a parlay of Washington State and Gonzaga. Gonzaga won the, the first one. Oh, a Drake missing, and Washington State on the other side with the alley-oop. Don't fake the funk on the nasty dunk. Throwing it down. Number 13, Jones for Washington State, and Drake comes back and answers. Two-point game. Yes, sir. Hey, well, you know, good luck on your bets. All right, Washington State passing around the perimeter. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Number zero with the jumper, and he hits it. Beautiful jumper in the lane. And that's Wells, Jeremiah Wells, number zero for WSU and they're going to get the ball again and dunk it on the other side. Rice throwing it down and pushing Washington State to a 15-9 lead early. There's a three-point attempt from the outside and Drake hits it. And this game started out with a little bit of anemic scoring. These guys are going back and forth like heavyweight boxers right now. Washington State with the ball up by three. Rice drives. And Enright really upset about something there. And he, he did not like the call by the officials. He's going to sit on the bench. Has there ever been a man that I just look at him and hear him talking and not have to ask and know he's from New Jersey? Uh, I'm going to assume that guy's from New Jersey. I've never heard of him in my life. Under 12 minutes to go. In the first half, Drake with the ball on the perimeter. There's a trip. And... That's going to be a foul on Washington State. Eleven forty-eight left in the first half out of Omaha. Washington State up by three, fifteen to twelve. What other games you got, Batten, Justin? You got a you don't have one of those dumb parlays like I do, right? <laughs> I, I always make fun of parlays, and then I always end up doing them here and there. It's not usually my favorite thing, but that's what I did today. Parlayed Washington State and Gonzaga. <clears throat> I should have just taken Gonzaga in the point, six and a half, and uh, my stress would be over for the day. Then I could root for you, Justin, to make money. Because I think Gonzaga won by 25. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Definitely over 20. 
All right, guys, don't forget to hit that like and share button. If you know a basketball fan out there, let them know what we do here on Fights with Friends, or excuse me, on Mike's Sports Experience. Other channel is Fights with Friends. And a new Mad Max movie coming out. I didn't know about that. It's called Furious. Um, could be good. No idea. It'll, it'll probably either be really, really good or really, really bad. There doesn't seem to be much, much middle ground for movies anymore. Like those, like those, like eh, decent sevens that used to come out, like a Demolition Man. Like those don't seem to exist anymore. It's like it's either Oppenheimer or it's. Oppenheimer or Wonka or it's something that bombs like Expendables 4. Now, I haven't done a parlay in a while, but I won off Zaga in North, Zaga in North Carolina, lost off South Dakota and South Carolina. Dude, Oregon was on fire, man. Um, I'll tell you, I'm betting Oregon to win their next game. They're playing... Oh, God, who was it the, that... Uh, they're playing today. The, it was the winner of Akron and uh, Crichton. They're playing Creighton next. And Creighton beat Akron by 17 points, 77 to 60. But uh, I like Oregon in that game. If anybody sees odds for that come out, come out yet, uh, let me know. Because I, I want to jump on that one as soon as it comes out. And speaking of odds, let's get the live odds on this game right now. Oh, I can't see them here because it's the Washington team. I forgot about that. Uh, Kansas and Samford. Kansas up by five points on Samford. 18-13, uh, 14 and a half minutes left to go in the first half. Washington State taking over here, 4-0 to zero on fast break points for Washington. <clears throat> 12 on the shot clock. Thank you, Robert, for the share. And I think that's going to be a foul on number 10 right for Drake. Well, we talk about uh, Darren DeBreeze. He was an assistant coach here under Greg McDermott at Creighton in fact. Tucker DeBreeze said that he's taken more shots in this building than he has even in his his building at Drake. It was funny when he was an assistant coach. And All right, Washington State with the ball. Three ball out of the corner, in and out. Drake with the rebound. And there's a jump shot. Number three for Drake nails it, and it is a one-point ball game. And WSU misses once again. Drake with the ball, a chance to take the lead down by one. 10, 38, 37, 36, 10, 35 left in the first half. If you're looking to sync up, 10 left on the shot clock. Thought about the three. Four, three, two, and there's the jumper, and he makes it with about one second left on the shot clock. That's got to be a little demoralizing for Washington State. You play the defense, you hold them that entire time, and then you still give up the basket. Ten minutes left in the half. Oh, and he's just going to drive straight to the basket and misses it. Three attempts there for Washington State. They cannot put it down. Here comes Drake. And there's the three ball. Smashes it. Oh, 
That's DeVries, number 12, DeVries. And uh, I believe Washington State's going to call a timeout. 9.39 left in the first half. Drake now up by four. Momentum in their favor. 5-0 run here for Drake early. Yeah, I try to stay away from the parlays most of the time, Justin. This one might screw me. It's hard enough to guess one game, much less, you know. That's, and the real crappy thing about a parlay is, you know, you bet four games or four fighters or whatever it is you're betting, you win three of them and you still lose all your money. All right, 1915, as I mentioned, uh, let's look at scores around the league. Wow, Tennessee just thumping St. Peter's at the half. 46-20, uh, North Carolina State and Texas Tech. That's a one-point ball game, 1918, North Carolina State. That's an 11-6 seed game there. Um, Samford and Kansas, 20-13. In favor of Kansas with 13.50 left. That's a 13-4 seed. Uh, biggest upset of the tournament so far. We just witnessed number 14 seed Oakland knock off number 3 seed Kentucky. Huge upset there. Uh, North Carolina State, Texas Tech now tied at 19. And the four games that are going right now, that's the last four games of the night. And they pretty much all start at the same time. So, this game's been hard to bet, honestly. Very hard, man. No, I, I agree. I wish I would have laid more down on Gonzaga. I was fairly confident in them, but... Um, Never know what they're going to do next round. I really like Oregon against Creighton. Uh, they're the number 11 seed. I just hope that Creighton is, I hope they're like a two and a half to one underdog. That might be hoping for too much. Seven points so far for Wright. Look at Tucker DeVries here for Drake, though. Just been putting on a clinic all season. One of the most prolific scorers in the game. All right, Washington State with the ball. Rotating around the perimeter. They turn it over. There's a steal for Drake. Drake already up by four, looking to add to that lead. 9-14-13, 9-12 left in the first half, 20 left on the shot clock. Possession arrow Drake. Oh, beautiful bounce pass inside, and he just made it look too easy. That's number 51, Brooke. 12-0 run. For Drake and Washington State, they, they've got to change something up here. And 23 shooting from the outside, hits the three, and getting hot is a good way to change things up. Just like that, we got a three point ball game. Drake, three from six for the three throw line. Washington State, two for five. And there's DeVries again, and he misses the three-point this time. Washington State with the rebound. They'll bring it up court. And there's a whistle. I believe that's a foul on Drake. Kansas up by eight now on Samford, 24-16. North Carolina State up on Texas Tech, 23 to 20. 
I remember I called ele number 11 North Carolina State to beat Texas Tech. And I still am calling that. A deep bench here for DeVry. It's hard to keep up with all the players coming in and out. And wow, I really thought he had that. Jones, he had the ball. He got poked in the eye there, though, I believe. Oh, yeah. I, I was about to criticize him for not making that one, but, I mean, he got bomb rushed. He, he, he got smacked from both sides there. All right, Jones will go to the line, and he hits the first two-point game. I have a feeling this could be another one that goes down to the buzzer. I hope so, because those are the fun ones. 8-13 left in the first half. Isaac Jones, three points, two rebounds, two assists so far. And he misses the second free throw. And coming down to eight minutes to play in the first half. Drake with the ball up by two. There's a jumper in and out. and That will not make it, but they get the second chance. Those offensive rebounds... A lot of contact there. I'm not sure who it went off of. To play. Drake, the number 10 seed with the lead over Washington State. Nice. All right. Any good wins this uh, year so far, though, Justin? Doesn't have to be in the NCAA tournament. Maybe in the NBA I'm always looking for advice. <laughs> Two point game, and I, I have no idea where the ball is going now. Guys, I'm trying to catch up on some of the uh, the players here. I've been trying to. There's so many teams. I've been trying to catch, you know, all the different names and things. Number 23, Andre Jakomowski. for WSU. <clears throat> Oh, what is this an advertising for? Monkey Man. We have an actual uh, martial arts movie coming out. I like it. It's still a, a bit of a break here, and I'm just trying to fill in uh, all the 
all the blanks on players that I have numbers to and I can't get them to stop long enough to be able to see who it is. All right, Drake inbounds the ball. To Overton, almost stolen. And there's a big block from Wells, Jalen Wells. With a great defensive play here for Washington State. Are they going to call a foul on that or is it just out? Oh, no, he got hand. He got hand and arm wrist. Yeah, that's going to be a shooting foul. Number 24, Nate Ferguson going to the line. Misses the first. And he misses both of them. Big break for Washington State. They can come back and either tie it or take the lead here with the three-pointer. Ferguson missing both free throws. 12 on the shot clock. Oh, underneath. They turn it over. That was meant for Chinyalu, but... Uh, Washington State getting it back. There's a steal for WSU, and they have a chance again to tie it or take the lead. And there's a jumper. Beautiful jumper there for number 12. And Drake on the other end misses. Rebound Washington State. A chance to take the lead back once again. Oh, and that was so close. Now, and that's going to be out on Washington State back to Drake. He tried to he tried to inbound it and knock it off another player. Unfortunately, he threw it off his own player. 642 left in this game. Oh, see, he's trying so hard. And I, I, he did not realize, I think, that that was his own player there. Number 12, Watts, diving out. Uh, hell of an effort. All right, Drake has missed their last five field goal attempts. This is a tie ball game at 21. Drake with the ball. 6.30 left in this game. Beautiful pass to the inside, but Washington steals it. And here come the Cougars with a chance to tie this up. Or a chance to take the lead again. Excuse me. There's three-pointer. And he sinks it. That's Jalen Wells. 24-21 Washington State Cougars. And look at them party in the Washington State side. This is the last call and Drake says, we need to talk about this. I would say you do. <laughs> no, very close game, though. All right, eight up in the chat. Don't forget to hit that like and share button. Whether you watch every stream throughout this, and I really appreciate those uh, who do, but I appreciate you watching any of the streams. You're just going to have multiple streams. Every day there's multiple games on in this tournament. We'll be here. So if you're subscribed, you know, my promise to you is outside of, uh, you know, some kind of tragedy, I'm going to be here for a, a large percentage of the games of this tournament. Twenty-four, twenty-one, three fouls apiece. Possession to Drake. Drake with the ball right now. Three ties, two lead changes. Biggest leads, six points. It, each team has held the six-point lead at one point or another. Three points for WSU right now. Drake missing. Rebound, WSU. Rice is going to bring the ball up. Oh, and man, Wells thought about taking that three, and then he realized he was almost at half court, I think. And Isaac Jones with the ball. He's going to post up. You can find him in, in those bright pink shoes, and he's a big guy. And there's a three-point attempt from the outside. Hits the rim, but misses. Uh, that was uh, Jakimovsky. And a big jumper there for Wright. 
number 10 right for Drake makes it a one-point ball game. And I, I just have a feeling this game is going to be stressful all the way down to the buzzer. Just like North Carolina State and Texas Tech. Texas Tech leading that one 26-25 with 5.09 left in the first half there. And a whistle. I believe that's going to be a foul on Drake. All right, Washington State inbounding under the basket. Big pressure here from Drake. They were having a hard time finding a guy. Almost had, almost got a backcourt violation getting it in. 12 seconds off the shot clock. Three-point attempt. Misses Drake with the rebound. Twenty seconds on the shot clock. Four forty on the game clock. And there's a three point attempt for number ten. It is in and out rebound. Washington State. And Rice will bring the ball up for WSU. He'll pass it to the big man Isaac Jones. Isaac looking to get a one-on-one -on -one post up, and he does, and he puts it in. He made that look easy. He just bullied him. They need to get the ball on the inside, in my opinion, more often to the big man, Isaac Jones. He needs to be playing less perimeter and more post up. Oh, and the fadeaway... From DeVries, this time he can't get it to go, though, for Drake. WSU with the rebound chance to go up by five or even six. Rice waiting for Jones to uh, pick himself up off the canvas there. And Jones posting up again. Not able to get it, but he draws the foul. That's going to be on Ferguson, number 24, Nate Ferguson. And another timeout here. It looks like 26-23 Washington State, and they will head to the line. Nine up in the chat. Thank you for joining us. If you like everything about sports, especially March Madness, you're in the right place. We're just going to continue this energy throughout the tournament, two, three streams a day. I've been streaming. I started, what, uh... When did I start today? Noon? One? Something like that. I don't know. I think we're going on about eight hours. And uh, I, I'm still energized, guys. I still cannot wait to watch more March Madness basketball, to be honest. All right, guys, Washington State up 26-23. We should hopefully just be a few commercials uh, away from going back to that game. Let's check out some of the scores from around the league, though. Tennessee up 30 on St. Peter's, 58-28. Just call it mercy. Uh, 311 in the first half left. Texas Tech leading North Carolina State by one, 30-29. Um, Kansas and Sanford. Kansas doing what Kansas should be doing, up by 14 on Sanford, 36 to 22. Of course, this game we're watching here: Washington State and Drake. Number seven, Washington State leading number 10, Drake, 26-23. Wow. And Roadhouse coming out here soon, guys. I think it might already be out. Yes, it is now streaming on Amazon. The acting debut of the notorious Conor McGregor. All right, 
right, 334 left in this first half. Three-point game. As I mentioned, tomorrow over on Fights with Friends, Bellator card. Uh, we'll be starting that one. It's pretty early. It starts at 9 a.m., actually. Um, I'm not going to promise 9 a.m., but uh, I promise you by noon or before noon. We'll figure that out uh, here in a minute. Well, the prelims are just not interesting. That's why I say that. Isaac Jones, two for two from the field, five points and three rebounds. He will go to the line for Washington State to look to put them up by five. And he hits the first of two free throws. And he hits the second, 28-23. Washington State. 13 2 run in the last 5 14 for Washington State. Drake with the ball. 323, 22, 21, 320 left in the first half. Oh, and a sneaky lay in there. Drake cutting with within three. That's in right. Number four in right. We'll see if Washington State can come back and answer. Here's Isaac Jones with the ball. One-on-one -on -one gets doubled. Takes the short jumper. Can't get it to go down. Drake with the rebound. Bringing it back the other way. Looking to tie this game. They could tie it with a three or they come within one. Oh, and an open man. Just no excuse on defense there for Washington State. And that's number 12, DeVry. You can't leave that guy open anyways. Ever. And Washington State passing along the perimeter. It is a one-point ball game. 28-27 WSU. Ten seconds. He thought about the three-pointer. That's Rice. He thought about taking it. Now he's going to take the short jumper. Oh, so close. And that foul will be on number 24, Nate Ferguson, um, for Drake. Loose ball foul there. North Carolina State up 31-30. Uh, 248, 47, 46, 245 left in the first half of that game. Number 11, North Carolina leading number 6, Texas Tech. And WSU inbounds the ball. And here is Isaac Jones. Passes it out for a very long three. And that is good. That is Jalen Wells burying it. That that was well outside NBA range. And Drake with the ball on the perimeter down by four now. Oh, man, how did that not go in? There's a rebound for Washington State. That was Isaac Jones with the rebound. He's having a heck of a game so far. Rice with the ball, passes it back into Jones. Back out to Rice. Oh, and they turned the ball over, got it back, turned it over again. And now they get the steal from Drake. And look at the behind-the-back moves. <laughs> wow. What, what a crazy up-and-down-the-court series there for both teams. I think he had six turnovers in about five seconds. Reminds me of an MMA when one guy is going for a submission, then the other guy switches the position and, and gets a good submission attempt, and then they just keep rolling like that. Andre Jamoski at the line for Washington State. Misses the first of two. That was a big free throw there for him. And here comes the second for Jamovsky. And he misses both of them. 
One fifteen left in the game. You cannot, you cannot miss free throws like that this deep into the tournament. It's gonna come back to haunt you. And Drake with the ball, a chance to cut this within one possession, and they miss. Isaac Jones with the rebound. Washington with a chance to go up by six. And I believe that's going to be off of Washington State. That ball flew through flew through so fast, it's hard to say. So, yep, Rice kicked it. That's going to be Drake ball. Oh, no, I don't know. Maybe it hit somebody else. I don't know. It's going back to Washington State, though, underneath the basket. And Washington State takes too long to pass it in. Rice gets a five-second violation. Just a sloppy, sloppy move. There's never an excuse to get a five-second violation like that. So two free throws missed a moment ago by Washington State. Now a five-second violation. They are really missing out on opportunities here. I have no clue how to bet I meant. Ah. Oh, and there's a big block for Washington State, though, running it the other direction. Just been a filthy defensive game on both sides. And look at this, Drake with the steal. And the ball again behind the back. There's the lay-in, and Drake is within two. Both teams have had their fair share of good and bad ball play here in this first half, and no doubt about that. Isaac Jones, the center with the ball. Two seconds difference between the shot clock and the game clock. WSU is going to try to get the last shot of the half here. Back to Isaac Jones, 10 seconds left in the game. Five on the shot clock. Isaac Jones puts it in. 33-31. And Drake will shoot it from half court, and they will not make it. So Washington State will go into the half up by four. Could have been much more. Tell me about it, especially when you have no clue on how to bet. <laughs> All right, halftime, Omaha. 33-29, Washington State. 10 up in the chat. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, and really help us out by hitting that share button, sharing this across the country. All right, halftime also in North Carolina State, Texas Tech game. Number 11, North Carolina State leading number 6, Texas Tech by 4, 37-33. So I think both teams have a lot to talk about during the half and a lot of things that they did poorly or sloppily in that first half. Uh, you know, Drake proved that they could get a lot of rebounds. They could play physical defense. Washington proved that they could get a lot of fast breaks. Um, I think both teams played defensively pretty well. The offensive shooting... Um, you can account for that. Maybe everybody's shooting with a hand or two in the face. But a uh, very low-scoring ball game in the first half. I mean, 62. You're looking at an over-under of 124. That is very low. I don't know what the original over-under on this was. Um, I think I can tell you, though, because I believe I saved that. Okay, Washington State over under was 138 and a half. So not high, but like I said, if they if they keep scoring at this rate, they're not going to come close to that. You're looking at less than 128. And the Gonzaga over-under was 149. I think they blew that out of the water. Mm. 
<clears throat> Let's see if they have scheduled Oregon State and Creighton yet. When does Oregon men's basketball play next? All right, not till March 23rd. So not tomorrow, but the next day. Times still to be determined, but that will be in the second round on Saturday. Number 11, Oregon, will play uh, number, what is it, three, Creighton? Yeah, number three, Creighton. I cannot wait for the odds to come out for that one. Actually, I got to check. Oh, excuse me. I know they're not going to have a time yet, but I got to check to see if we got any Saturday odds out yet. Plenty of Friday games. There we go, Saturday. Okay. Oregon Creighton. Oregon's a plus 200. Five and a half points. Creighton is a minus 245 favorite early. I like Oregon in this. I'm going to take him at two to one. I'm hoping to get better than two to one. But uh, I like the Oregon Ducks in that game. And I, I don't even want the points. Five and a half points. No, I'll, I'll just take Oregon straight up. And see the highlights from the first half. A lot of lead changes. Biggest lead for both teams was six. Nobody really getting hot. Just a, a lot of back and forth defense. A lot of steals, turnovers by both teams. Isaac Jones leading the way for Washington State. Nine points, five rebounds, three assists. Jalen Wells with eight points behind him. And they put that up there too quickly. Earlier, number seven, Texas defeats number 10, Colorado State. Of course, number 14, Oakland upsetting number three, Kentucky. Gonzaga blowing at number 12, McNeese out, 86 to 65, 20 point, 21 point win there. <clears throat> and tomorrow, I like that game. UAB and San Diego State. That's that's a fun game. I'm just waiting for San Diego State to play to their level that they did in the first half of the season. Like are they imposters? I'm not sure how good they are. So let's bring up the odds for the Saturday games, actually, though, since we got some time here. I know Justin is uh, maybe looking to make some more bets here. UAB is a popular upset pick. Uh, let's let's check out the odds here. So North Carolina State and Texas Tech. Um, wow, Texas Tech minus one hundred five. Okay, still North Carolina State minus one twenty five. That's not too surprising there then. Um, Kentucky's pretty much put this one away in the first half against Samford. Um, tomorrow, Northwestern Florida Atlantic. Um, Florida Atlantic, three and a half point favorites. I like those three and a half points. I like getting three and a half points. Uh, Northwestern plus 140 on the underdog money. Colgate and Baylor. Um, man, this is 14 points. 14 point uh, for Baylor. Um, 14 point favorite. So uh, I would skip out on that one. UAB, San Diego State. There we go. We we're just talking about plus 230. Uh, that one could definitely go. A lot of people are also taking Vermont to upset Duke, really. 
That's that's a bit surprising. All right, Western Kentucky and Marquette. Marquette, huge favorites, 14 and a half points. Uh, favorites against them. Stetson and UConn. UConn, 27 points. Like, I mean, if you think Stetson could win this, you're going to start out with 22 to 1 odds. I just don't see it. Uh, New Mexico and Clemson. I think we talked about that earlier. Basically, in my mind, that's kind of a toss up. <clears throat> I'd like to take Clemson, but I want three points. I want at least three. Three and a half would be nice. I don't like two and a half. That's one possession. Um, yeah, when Auburn, that could be bigger. I think Auburn should probably be a 20 point favorite, to be honest. Colorado and Florida, a toss up. I just, I, I, I don't like that game. Maybe on the under, but I have no idea who's going to win that. Uh, Nebraska, Texas A&M. I really like Nebraska on that one. I'm more than willing to put up 115 to win 100 if you're going to bet that one. Um, Billy was just talking about this Duke and Vermont. So let's click on this game and see if we can get any more uh, info on who's betting this. Let's see game lines. I was hoping it would show who's betting what. Sometimes it will, but uh, apparently not. Can I click back out, please? <laughs> Hate these websites sometimes. Uh, Grambling and Purdue, that one's just out there. That's out to lunch. But uh, like I said, um, I don't know. I don't know enough about Vermont to have faith in them. If a lot of people think that Duke might get upset, maybe you take the points. Plus 550, that's a pretty good money line, though. Um. James Madison in Wisconsin. I think I, I talked about this earlier. I really like Wisconsin on this one. Um, but that money line is, is it's a bit tough. Minus 218. I, I don't know if I like them that much. Um, oh, there we go. Utah State. You got four points on Utah State. Now I'll take Utah State and the points at plus four. Uh, Grand Canyon, St. Mary's, St. Mary's all day. Uh, give me, give me the. That's a tough one though. Do you take the money line or you take the points? Five and a half's a lot. Minus two twenty-five is not the worst money line. It'd be nicer. It'd be nice to get them closer to minus two hundred. Utah State is better. I would take money line. Yeah, I think Utah State's better too. I'm just saying, um, oh, yeah, for plus 154. Yeah, you're probably right there, Billy. I mean, why not if you're going to get that much on a money line? I was just thinking, oh, not a for sure thing, but even a more for, you know, a better thing. But, yeah, part of the money line is probably the answer there. Um, no odds out yet for North Texas Seton Hall. Um, th this is Saturday games. Michigan State, North Carolina. Um, North Carolina, four point favorites in this one, minus 185. I don't know why they're only minus four. Uh, give me North Carolina, give me the money line, minus 185 on North Carolina, and I'll, I'll gladly put up 400 bucks to win 200 and some change. Um, Oregon Creighton, I just talked about this. I like Oregon any way you want to slice it, but at plus 200. I really like the money line. Take Oregon as well in round two. Yeah, I was talking about that earlier, Billy. I'd, I would definitely take them. Uh, Dayton and Arizona. So Dayton's an interesting one. They were down by 17 points today. Came back and won that game. They were the favorite, though. Arizona goes into this a nine-point favorite. I, I have no idea what to do with that one. Uh, maybe Billy can add his two cents in on that one. But um, I just... That, that's a tough one. I'm going to pass on that one. Duquesne and Illinois. Duquesne pulling off a big upset today. Uh, they're nine and a half points underdogs against Illinois. 
Illinois is a better team than they beat today, I think. But if Duquesne continues to play with that kind of momentum, I don't think they're going to lose by nine and a half. I like the money line if I'm taking anybody on that. Or not, I mean, excuse me, the points on Duquesne. Nine and a half. Arizona will win by 15 plus. Says Billy. All right. I, I hate to give that many points, though. <clears throat> Illinois is too big for Duquesne. Thank you, Billy. Billy, uh, Billy's on it. He called the Kentucky upset earlier. Uh, he, he texted it to me. Arkansas State, 13-point favorites over Bethune Cookman. Um, Arkansas should win that one, but I don't like to give 13 points to anybody. Bradley and Cincinnati, uh, we got the points, but we don't have the, the uh, money line yet. Chicago State, San Diego. Um, interesting one. <laughs> Ten points for San Diego State. Yeah, I think I would leave that one as well. Oh, and we got odds all the way into oh the Sunday games. Those are those are probably NAT games, I think. <clears throat> all right, we'll close that up. We're pretty close, I think, to going back to the game here. Thirty-three twenty-nine the lead for Washington State going into the second half. <clears throat> those, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I just said that, Bill. Those are, I noticed those were NIT games immediately. So is there no NCAA games on Sunday, I bet? It's just NIT. I know it's all NCAA, but not Division One is what I meant to. Yeah. I don't know if they'll be interested in, in covering NIT or not, but maybe I'll just maybe I'll just do it to keep the keep the rhythm and the algorithm going. Friday, as I mentioned, tomorrow we do have an early morning Bellator card. Uh, Pretty decent card there. Um, and then Saturday, of course, UFC. We got Rose Nyamahunes taking on Amanda Hebus in the main event. Uh, no, there is. It's the winner of tomorrow's games. Oh, so they got both going on. Okay. It's got to be a way. I, I think I need to separate it by Division One right now. Then I don't know that I'm in. Well, I might be interested in betting on NIT games. I guess all money's good money. <clears throat> Wonder how many odds makers. There's got to be so many odds makers to make all the odds for these games, and they seem to just be getting better and better at it. All right, we should just be about two or three minutes away from the start of this half. I'm just looking to see if uh, North Carolina State and Texas Tech has not went bad. Tennessee leading St. Peter's by 30 now, 71-41. Uh, so, and everything else is at halftime. The other three games. Uh, let's see what what's early morning tomorrow. First game tomorrow is Northwestern and FAU. That one's at nine fifteen, and we got a nine forty Colgate and Baylor. Oh, that UAB San Diego game's at ten forty five Pacific tomorrow. That that is definitely one I I, I would like to see. <clears throat> I'm 
glad there is only one half now left for today, though, because I am starting to run out of steam. Going on uh, about eight hours <laughs> of streaming, I believe. We'll get some basketball trivia for everybody tomorrow. Uh, it, it'd be nice to have some college basketball trivia, I guess. Um, Billy, if you don't mind sending me a list, you know way more about this than me. I'll make some of my own, too. But uh, you don't have to. But if you have time to send me a list of college basketball trivia, that would be awesome. I would appreciate that. All right, hopefully last commercial break here. The winner of tomorrow's game. Yeah, I, I don't know much about the NIT. I know Eastern Washington's there because they got bumped out of their bracket. Surprised they're showing UConn and Stetson, though. I mean, number one and 16. I know you got a chance at the upset, but show a competitive game and then, I don't know, flick over to that one if, if it's not close. What do you think of Colgate, Billy, against Baylor, though? Um, I mean, I know Baylor's a 14.5-point favorite, but... Um, does Colgate match up well against them at all? I have similar records. I'm not familiar with Colgate's conference where they play. It looks like cheerleaders are doing their last little dance here, and hopefully we can get back to some basketball. The halves have seemed a little long for me. At least for college today. Baylor should beat them by 10 plus. Okay, well it's 14 and a half is the is the spread. So that's why I asked. All right. You see field goal percentage for the first half, 46% for Washington, 42 for Drake, 4 of 10 from the three-point line for Washington State, 3 of 8 for Drake. And uh, I mean a pretty close ball game. And it, in most statistics there, I felt like both teams made a lot of mistakes, missed out on a lot of opportunities, and Part of that is a very aggressive defenses from both teams. And it's going to be an interesting um, second half. I, I don't know what the point spread is now. I know Washington State came into this a point and a half underdogs. All right. The boys are on the court, and I think we are ready to go. Number 12, DeVries will throw the ball in for the Drake Bulldogs as they trail by four. Oh, and look at that inside. Number 51 not getting it done, but there's the rebound swatted. That was Jones, 13, Isaac Jones with the swat. And let's see if Washington State can turn that into some points. And Isaac Jones looked a little out of place here. I think uh, I think Rice was calling him to screen, and he didn't get open or screen, or screen there. He, I don't know what he was thinking on that play, but, yeah, like I said, he, he seemed lost. And there's the putback for number 51, Brooke, for Drake. And it, it's a two-point ball game, 31. 33-31 Washington State.
Rice. On the line, passing it out to Watson. They turn the ball over again, and Drake picks it up and goes all the way. That was an easy one for number 10, Wright, and it is a tie ball game. Washington State's got to get something going here in the second half. They are scoreless. Back inside to the big man, number 13. He is triple teamed, still tries to put it up. Can't get it to go. Drake with the rebound and a chance to take the lead. Oh, man, and somebody lost 51. I don't know whose assignment that was. But uh, he was wide open, and Drake goes up 35-33, and they got the crowd into it with that big dunk. Is it a change of momentum in the favor of Drake? 18-09 left in the second half. All right, 11 up in the chat. Don't forget to hit that like and share button. If you are trying to chat and you can't, uh, hit that subscribe button. Subscribers only in the chat. Yeah, Baylor beats them by 10. You'd still win, though, Billy. 14 and a half. Uh, they're favored over Colgate. But... Uh, yeah, I, I think I'll probably stay away from that one. Hopefully I hit my parlay tonight, though. It's just two-team parlay. I parlayed Washington State University and Gonzaga. Gonzaga won by 21 earlier. Uh, if Washington State wins, uh, I will win, uh, I think it was a plus 166. I know you sent it to me, Billy. Thank you for making that uh, that bet for me, sir. All right, I bet forty for a payout of a hundred and four, a hundred and five dollars and two cents on uh, Gonzaga and Washington State. Plus 163. I don't know if that was smart or not, but I guess kind of my thought was, like, unless you wanted to give the points, there's no point in betting on Gonzaga, but if I was going to bet on WSU anyways, might as well add Gonzaga on there for, you know, another $68 per 100 Man, I wish I was getting some of this ad revenue from uh, CBS and True TV and all these guys. Man, there's a lot of ads. Women's Final Four, April 5th and 7th. All right, Washington State's going to bring the ball up down by 2, 35-33. It's first lead for Drake since they led 21-19. Scoring drought. Washington State still has not scored in the second half, and they almost throw the ball away there. And they do! Chinello couldn't hold on to it, and here comes Drake up by 2 already, looking to add to the lead. Oh, and that barely missed. And that's out on Washington State. Just uh, another loose ball turnover there. He just lost the handles. 
I, I don't know if there's oil on the balls tonight or what's going on, but these guys are having a hard time keeping hold of the ball. Oh, man, they have got to start. There's the block finally from Isaac Jones, but it, he, he fouls him. So they got to get a handle on 51, and I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Isaac Jones' assignment, and he keeps on getting open. Isaac Jones was there waiting for him. But, yeah, he got almost all arm. Not sure what he was thinking there. Darnell Brody, number 51. Misses the first of two free throws. And hits the second, 36-33. Drake, 17-17. Left in this ball game. Rice will bring the ball up the court. 7-0 run in the last 206 for Drake. And Rice runs all the way to the basket. But there was a foul before, number one, Overton. He was holding Isaac Jones from number 13 from getting to the window. And there's a look into the Overton window. He goes to set his uh, ass on the bench there. All right, WSU inbounding the ball underneath the basket. Post up for 45, almost gets it stolen. There's a three-point attempt, and he buries it. That's Jalen Wells, and we got a tie ball game. Number zero, Jalen Wells puts it down. That ends the scoring drought for Washington State. High ball game, Drake Ball. Triple team here from Washington State. Oh, back inside to the big man, though. They just, they cannot stop number 51. Brody, is he's getting the ball inside often. The more they feed that guy, I think the more Washington State is going to struggle today. Isaac Jones has not proven an ability to guard him, in my opinion, at this point. And a an wide open three for Drake. Where was everybody on that one? 39 36, Drake. 16 20 left in this game. Six for eight from the field for right. And there's number 45, the center inside. Nice looking hook there, but he can't get it to go. Fight for the ball. Isaac Jones almost got it back, but here comes Drake. And he can't get that to go, but there it is. Who is it in the hands of again? Number 51, Brody, and he draws the foul. They cannot stop this guy. He's just too big. 15-46 left in the game. Drake by three. With, with money on Washington State in this game, I, I really worry... Uh, about them right now because they got Drake has they've got their big man going they've got Brody going underneath the basket and I they do not have the same for Isaac Jones and it seems like Isaac keeps missing his assignment like he keeps losing Brody What is this they're advertising? Okay. All right, 
quick advertisement break, and we'll be back to this one. Just a three-point ball game, as I mentioned. Let's take a look over at North Carolina State and Texas Tech, though. NC State leading Texas Tech, 47-44, 14-28 left in that game. I remember I called number 11 North Carolina State to defeat Texas Tech. It's close. Uh, and something that's a little closer than I thought it would be is Kansas is only up by 10 on Samford, 48-38 at the half. I don't see that becoming a problem for them. But uh, 10 points is not a blowout. Uh, Tennessee, talk about a blowout. Tennessee, 83-47 over St. Peter's. I mean, that game's basically over 27 seconds left. So we're looking at just this and two other games going on tonight. I think I, I will try to get to the casino here pretty soon, Billy. I got to get to the casino before this next UFC because I'll tell you, uh, I like that money on Rose Yamahunas. And she's only a two to one favorite. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll drop 200 to win 100 on her easy. What's up, Justin? Hey, your Drake's up now, man, by three points and at the line. They cannot stop this big man, number 51, uh, Brody, Darnell Brody at the line. And he misses the first of two free throws. Luckily for WSU, he's not an 80% free throw shooter or something on top of it. And he misses the second. Washington State barely gets the loose ball. Drake was all over it. Here comes WSU. Here's Isaac Jones. He is not guarded by Brody at the moment. Oh, and that's uh, that's going to be a kick ball, I believe, maybe. All right, Washington State will inbound with 20 seconds on the shot clock. Looking to cut it within one or tie this ball game. Eight left on the shot clock. Throws it into Isaac Jones, and he's immediately fouled. That's going to be on number zero, Gibson. Oh, and Wells gets it. One point ball game. Gets it on the second attempt there. 39 38, 15 minutes left in this game. Jeremiah Wells with 13 points, seven rebounds on the game for the Cougars. And Drake on the inside. And there he is again. Brody getting it done. They cannot stop this man right now. And, I mean, I think the real reason they don't want him guarding Isaac Jones is they don't want him picking up the fouls. Oh, and number two all the way to the basket and misses it, but there's going to be a foul. Fourteen thirty left in this game. Drake leading now by three. And WSU with the ball inbounding under the basket. They get it inside to Wells again. Wells with the jumper. Nails it. And it is a one-point ball game once again. Fifteen points on six of eight shooting for Wells. Jalen Wells having an, an incredible game. Drake with the ball up by one. 14 minutes left in this game. 
And back to Brody. They just got to not foul him. Like, just let him shoot. And he, he's going to get it anyways. They're, he's just dominating. Like, I don't know how Washington State is going to keep up down the stretch if they if this keeps on happening. Man, because I'll, I'll tell you, I mean, Washington State, they're going to have to match baskets with him every time because they can't stop him. 11 points, 7 rebounds. Maybe maybe fouling him a few times wasn't the worst idea because at least he's, he's not hitting his free throws. All right, inside. Whoa, I don't I don't know what the call was there. Looks like that's going to be a foul on Drake. On number zero, Gibson maybe. And yeah, I'm not really sure what the foul was there. I didn't see it either, but um, Isaac Jones at the line. He'll hit the first of two. Thirteen thirty-five left in the game. Disagree? I think Rose is mentally checked out of fighting. I don't think so. Amanda Hebez, she sucks, man. She's lost three of her last six. She hasn't fought anybody good. And Rose just said she's re-motivated. She just had an interview that said she wants to be a three-way champion. And hits the second, 43-42. I mean, I, I get what you're saying. I think that's what they were thinking when they made the odds. It started out pretty close. It's over 2-1 to one in favor of Rose now, so I wish I would have jumped on her earlier. But, uh, I mean, you could be right, Billy. She's definitely had her mental issues in the past. And Drake driving hard to the hoop. Missing. Here comes Rice. He's going to go the entire length and miss it. Drake comes up with the ball. And almost a turnover there from Drake. That's going to be a foul possibly on Rice. Yeah, that's going to be on number two, Rice. And he, he knew it. All right, Drake with the ball up by one. There's a jumper wide open. You can't give those kinds of wide open looks at this level. 44-42, Drake. Doesn't over penetrate. I, I mean, I don't mean to be mean there, but the female commentary, that sounds like something she should be saying on her back. 45 42, Miles Rice at the line for the Cougars. And he'll hit the first on a one and one. Forty-five, forty-three. Oh, and he, and he, the second one goes in and back to a one-point ball game. Twelve forty-six left in the half, and here comes Drake. Up by one. And Rice headed back to the locker room. I'm not sure what happened there. I think I might have missed it. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. 10. And a fade away almost goes in for Drake. But Washington State with the rebounds. That was Jalen Wells. So Washington State with a chance to take the lead here with the ball down by one. North Carolina State leading Texas Tech still 52-49 with 11-42 in that game. 
There's 31 on the inside. How do you miss that jumper? How do you miss that? Weisensau misses the jumper. Just, man, you can't be much closer than that. And Drake with the ball looking to extend their lead. And that jumper is good. That's Gibson once again. Or excuse me, that's right. 16 points for him today. 47-44 Drake. And too much mustard on that pass for Washington State. And they turn it over once again. Washington State went into this half leading by four, but um, they, they're just a, a different team in the second half. Jones will be called for that foul. And that foul's on Isaac Jones, and number 13. Of kinetic energy. And what a battle it is. Washington State Man. and Drake. Some free throws. All right, 11.01 left in the half. I'm going to take a quick restroom break while they go to the commercials. I'll be right back.
WSU shooting the three-pointer from the outside. Misses. Here comes Drake. And they throw it to the big man who finds a man underneath. And Drake goes up by six. 50-44. And WSU seems to be falling apart here in the second half. Ten minutes left in this game. And Isaac Jones gets it to go on the second attempt. Nice tip in there. Washington State within four. Drake Ball. Twelve second chance points for Washington State, six for Drake, but they got the big man inside. Isaac Jones guarded him. Isaac not wanting to foul. Oh! And he gets the block, but he draws the foul. You could see Jones, he did not want to foul him. Wow, just the combination of DeVries and Brody right now seems to be something that Washington State just doesn't have an answer for. They're just lucky Darnell Brody's not a great free throw shooter. And Brody hits the first of two. He missed both his last time. And Washington State making some substitutions. That's three fouls on Isaac Jones. I mean, they have five, but they really don't want to lose that guy. Brody with his second free throw here. And he hits them both. Six point game for Drake. Rice brings the ball up the court. He's going to pass it on the perimeter. Wow, and that goes out. Was that touched by Drake? What? He just threw that into the crowd? Oh, man. Things are not looking good for the Washington State Cougars right now. Four turnovers. Or excuse me, 11 turnovers for Washington State, just four for Drake. That's a, a big number in this. And, oh, there's a strip from Washington State. It'll go back to Drake with 14 left on the shot clock. That one's stripped by Rice. Look at the hips and shoulders right here. He gets his shoulders. Oh, just a nice, just a nice little strip there. 12 seconds left. Brody calling for the ball underneath. He's there. And they decide to take the jumper instead in and out. And Washington State with the rebound. Jakomowski with the rebound. Here comes Rice slicing and dicing. But Well, Chen Leighton, Chen Yelu is going to get, oh, that looked like a bit of a flop to me. I'm not sure. But if Chen Yelu fouled there, I don't think he knew he fouled. Twelve turnovers tonight for Washington State. Already over their season average. And there's a three-pointer from the outside for Drake. Misses. Rebound Jakomowski for Washington State. But they are down by six. With just over eight minutes left to go. Oh, in and out, but he gets the second chance and misses again. Chinyelu can just not put the ball down. And under eight minutes to go, Drake up by six with the possession. And there's a jumper and he nails it. That's right, once again. And the Drake crowd going nuts right now. They are up by eight. 
while Washington State has made just one of their last 10 field goals. And Washington State's going to call a timeout and say, we want to talk about this. They got a lot to talk about. I'm not sure what answers there are for them, though. Drake leading 54-46. Let's turn our attention over to the other three games that are going on right now. Or the other two games is all there is now. North Carolina State creating some space between them and Texas Tech. They are up 63-51. Remember I said North Carolina State would win that game. Number 11, they're up by 12 points. Uh, Kansas widening their lead over Samford. Remember, it was a 10-point gap at the half. Uh, they're up now by 17, 63-46. And Washington State slowly watching this one sneak away from them as they are down by eight and... They don't have a lot of answers right now. They have a lot more questions than answers. They can't keep a hold of the ball. They can't make shots to save their life. I, I don't know how they're not losing by more. All right, 14 up in the chat. Don't forget to hit that like and share button. If you can't chat, if you can't comment on here, make sure and hit that subscribe button and you'll be able to comment. Uh, that's all it's waiting on there. We're going to be continue to do games over and over and over again for the rest of this tournament. So don't go anywhere. And I am taking requests. So there are some games that I want to cover, some requests already in, but if you have requests in the next few days for a specific game, uh, I will try to cover that one. I'm really liking San Diego State and UAB tomorrow, though. I just I don't know what Washington State's gonna do to come back in this ball game. Um, they can't get Brody in foul trouble. They can't stop him. Um, we thought it might come back to haunt Drake that he couldn't hit his free throws, but last time he went to the line, he hit both of them. All right, East Region will play tomorrow in Spokane. Uh, it's five hours from me. UAB versus San Diego State tip off there, ten forty-five. Are you? Yeah, ten forty-five Pacific, eleven forty-five Eastern, or one forty-five Eastern. All right, WSU with the ball. Isaac Jones double teamed underneath, and he, man, it puts up a. A low shot percentage fadeaway and gives the ball right back to Drake. Field goals this half, just 4 of 19 for WSU, and Drake is 10 for 19. That one's going to go out of bounds with seven minutes left. Washington State will get the ball back. Um, I mean, if Washington State wins this game, so far they've done nothing yet to deserve it. I mean, I'm not saying Drake's played the best game of their careers or anything, but. Washington State's just been so inept that so many, so many points of the game. They can't shoot. They continue to turn the ball over. And Isaac Jones puts it up there, bounces it in and out of the rim, and they just can't get the ball to go in the basket. And there's a three-point attempt from Drake. Hits the rim, rebound. WSU, that's going to be a foul on Drake. Yeah, that's going to be 51 Brody. And he just runs his hand up the back there. Three fouls on him, which is fine. Six and a half minutes left in the game. 
And that's the first point that Washington State has scored in almost three and a half minutes. 16 points for Jalen Wells today. Six, nine rebounds. And he hits the second. So Drake with the ball up by six. Uh, Washington State also in foul trouble. Seven fouls, bonus plus. And Drake moving the ball around the perimeter. They collapse. Oh, and shot cannot go down. There's the rebound. Washington State with a chance, uh, you know, to come within four here. They've only made one of their last 12 field goals. Rice on the outside. And there's a three-pointer from the outside. Buries it. Jamowski. And just like that, Washington State's within three. I don't know how they keep staying in this game, to be honest, but it's a three-point ball game with 548 left. All right, 17 up in the chat. Everyone, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, if you can share this anywhere on Twitter, on Facebook, wherever it is, I really appreciate that. Trying to build a full-time channel uh, out of this channel. I, I had to basically abandon it for four years while I ran my primary channel and my my business, which was my primary source of income. Now I'm looking for full-time income on YouTube. So any help is uh, much appreciated there. Uh, if you want to donate, you can donate through Cash App. On Cash App, I am Seattle Mike on PayPal, benedictinc at gmail.com. Uh, no super chats or ad revenue on this channel at this time. Even though I'm un, I'm over the 1,000 subscribers, uh, we've went under the 4,000 watch hours for the 365 revolving days, which uh, you have to do that to continue to, to stay monetized. So Drake with the ball up by three, 54-51. 542, 41, 540 left in this game. Washington State with the full court press here. And they get the ball to Brody. He's not under the basket here, though. And he gets it stolen immediately. Washington State with a chance to tie this ball game. Rice on the outside, inside to Isaac Jones. Brody on him, and he scores. Brody didn't want to foul him. He's got three fouls, and Isaac Jones able to put that in, and it's a one-point ball game. PR side agree. Billy Rose has been very out of touch with fighting, and uh, both teams are pointing at each other. Oh, Rice giving, giving Drake a little bit of a sarcastic look there. I'm not, oh, see, Rice didn't touch it. I'm not sure who it touched last. Rice Rice looked like No, Rice didn't get his hand on it That should have went to WSU But um, You know, I feel like this game's been pretty Fairly called though, so I wouldn't complain a whole lot About that, Brody with the open jump shot or Excuse me, that's Garrett's Number 10, Garrett's for Drake. Oh, man. He just blew Rice out of the water on that changeup. And eight and right will go to the line. And he misses the first of the two. That's a big miss in this game right now. And Rice coming back in for Washington State. Big free throw here for Drake. And he makes it. 55-53. Drake, Washington State with the ball. 448, 47, 46, 45 left in this ball game. And here comes Rice. 
15 seconds on the shot clock, passing along the perimeter. Isaac Jones calling for it underneath, and Brody's on him. He wants Brody to foul him, and he does. And that's four on Brody. Yeah, Isaac Jones wanting, rising up, wanting to throw it down, and Brody just grabs a two fistful of arm. Isaac Jones, 70% free throw shooter, hits the first one. Winner of this game will face number two Iowa State who just demoralized San Diego State today. And he hits the second, and we got a new ball game. Drake with the ball. And 13 points, but four fouls on Brody. Six ties, three lead changes in this game. Back to a tie. And there's Overton from the window. There's a look at the Overton window. He puts it in there. 58, 55, Drake. And here comes Washington State. Can they answer Isaac Jones? Nobody felt like they wanted to guard him. They don't want to draw the foul when he scores easily. One point game, 58-57. Isaac Jones, 19 points and 10 rebounds in this game. I really felt like Brody was going to start out playing him, but he's in foul trouble now. Miss from Drake and a rebound. Washington State down by one. They have a chance to retake the lead. And here's Rice. Oh, and a... I think that's going to be a foul on Isaac Jones. Looks like he was trying to... Screen and he just tripped. I'm not sure what happened there. I'd like to see the replay on that one, but it looks like the ball's going to Drake with 3.23 left in the game. So 23 up in the chat. 24, don't forget to hit that like button if you want to get in the chat with Billy, Robert, PBR, Street Gang, Justin, and everybody else in the crew. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, guys, because I'm going to be doing games throughout this entire tournament. This is my third stream of today, and we're going to start early tomorrow, and we're going to go hard throughout this entire tournament. Uh, if you have a favorite team or a game you would like to see me cover, um, make a request. Uh, we may already have a request in that spot or something else going on at that time, but uh, if not, I will do my best to cover the games you request. Let's go over to North Carolina State and Texas Tech, where North Carolina State is up by 12, 68 56, 437 left in that half. Remember, uh, I said uh, that I thought North Carolina State was likely to upset Texas Tech. I didn't like the way Texas Tech's been playing well, this year at all. But um, definitely lately, that would be another big upset. Of course, biggest upset of the tourney so far was number 14, Oakland, over number 3, Kentucky. Uh, a couple of 11-6s earlier today. Duquesne defeated BYU 71-67. Uh, and Oregon defeated South Carolina, uh, number 11 over 6, 87-73. So now it looks like the third 11 seed in the tournament it might be on their way to victory here, up by 14 with just 354 left in that game. <laughs> Where's my Cougars fans? I noticed we got a decent crowd here. I'm here in Washington State. So, um, you know, where's the Cougars fans? And where's the Gonzaga fans? Gonzaga blowing out McNeese earlier. I can't wait to see them back in action. 
Oregon looked good too, holding it down for the Pacific Northwest. I think they have a good shot at upsetting Creighton uh, in the next round. All right, Oakland will play the winner of uh, Texas Tech. And North Carolina State, which it's looking like it's going to be NC State. All right, Drake underneath. Brody back in under the basket, guarded, and he misses it. Drake gets it, though. Back out, and oh, man, no foul there. Washington State bringing the ball up. Rice with the ball, a lot of contact. Hard to tell exactly what happened. Good screen there. Rice being surrounded here, though. 15 on the shot clock, 240 left in the game. Rice is going to put it up. Drake gets the rebound but loses it. And I believe that's going to go to WSU because it looks like Brody just lost the handles. He couldn't hold on to it. Oh, see, he blocked it too. He he gets the block, but then he couldn't keep the ball in bounds. Well, that's what my eyes told me, but it looks like ball. Oh, no, it is going back to UW. Okay, or WSU. Isaac Jones underneath, guarded by Brody. He's got four fouls. And good defense there from Brody to not foul, but now he does. That is five, and Brody is out. Isaac Jones attacked him. He says, I know I can get this guy the fouls, and he had three. Got him to four, got him to five, and Brody fouls out. This is a big, big loss for Drake because they lose that inside presence, and he was kicking it out a lot to right, and DeVry. Right, DeVry and Brody, they were kind of just playing this little... Uh, this offensive triangle there, and it's going to be a lopsided triangle now with Isaac Jones going to the line to shoot two. And he hits the first, and it's a tie ball game. Brody definitely not a not a happy camper over there on the bench, but nothing he can do about it now. Uh, North Carolina State up by 14 on Texas Tech with 352 left, 7056. He misses the second. And Drake gets the ball with a tie ball game. Seven ties, three lead changes. And that's going to be a foul on Washington. I believe that will be a shooting foul. Yeah, quite a bit of quite a bit of contact there. Number 12, Watts. I mean, I know you want to challenge him. It's Aiden Wright, but uh, you can't do that. Aiden Wright with 19 points today. Misses the first free throw. These are big, big free throws for Drake right now. For everybody. Drake just 5 of 13 from the line. So, see, they make even three more free throws, and this is you know, a, a much easier game for them to win. 59-58, Drake, WSU with the ball. 5-1 and one in games decided by five points or fewer this season is Washington State. And Isaac Jones with the ball, and Drake no longer has Brody underneath the basket. And there's number 12. Shoots the three and hits it! That's a three for Watts, and Washington State goes up by two. A huge moment for Washington State, and Drake wants to talk about it. 138 left in this game, and Watts, that man is on top of the world right now. He is living up to his name because that was electric. All right, 29 up in the chat. Don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to join the chat there, hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'd like to welcome you to Mike's Sports Experience. Uh, 
So we'll continue to do, do live reactions and everything from basketball to baseball. Uh, you name it. No combat sports on this channel anymore. Boxing and MMA uh, reserved for our other channel, Fights with Friends. So if you're into MMA, that's the spot for that one. But Mike Sports Experience, we're here all day throughout the tournament. This is our third stream of the day. And Drake will inbound the ball here down by two. What a comeback from Washington State. I, I thought they were done for when they were down by eight. The shooting was anemic. Seemed like they couldn't stop Brody. And this game nowhere near over. But 130 left. Drake with the ball. And Drake does look like a much different team without Brody underneath the basket. There's a three-point attempt. In and out. Washington State with the rebound. That's Rice. Just 110 left in this game. Washington State with the ball, a two point lead, and the possession arrow. Washington State is 5 and 1 in games this year, decided by five points or less. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Eight, six. They got to put it up. And there's the jumper for Rice in and out. That was a good look, but I wish he would have passed the ball there. Drake with the ball, the chance to tie or take the lead. Good screen there. Oh, and Washington State almost gets the steal there. Ball out of the hands of Overton. And Overton loses it. And uh, that's going to go back to Washington State. That is a big, big turnover. 33.5 seconds left in this game. And uh, there's an, there's got to be an official review here. And I, I don't blame him. This is so important right now with just 33 and a half seconds left in this game. And uh, I don't know what they're looking at. Overton obviously lost the handles, but was he fouled before? Is that what they're looking at? Oh, so they were looking at the clock. 34.8 seconds left on the clock. They wanted to make sure to get the right time. And that's very important in a game like this. It's a two-point game. Washington State with a two-point lead. They'll inbound the ball with 34.8 seconds left. So just five seconds difference between the game and the shot clock. And a steal from Drake immediately. Oh, but Enright fouls for Drake. Number four, Enright. I knew something wasn't right on that play, and it was because somebody was knocked down there. Yeah, Enright. Enright ended up with the ball, but he knocked the player down beforehand. So, uh, a little early on the celebration there for Drake. And number 12, Watts will go to the line for WSU, leading by two with 34.8 seconds left. And Enright, no, he's just talking about the clock. I was like, Enright's still, John. He's got to be careful. He doesn't want to get a technical. This game, nowhere near over. But Watts could get it a lot closer by hitting two free throws here. 61-59. Watts at the line for two. And he hits the first. Three-point lead, Washington State. One more makes it a two-possession game. Maybe the biggest free throw of Watts' career right here. And he nails it. Washington State up by four. Drake will get the ball. They need two scores. Just two seconds difference between the shot and the game clock. And Washington State gets a steal. And Drake will have to foul. 
And you can see the frustration on the faces of the Drake players, but this has just been a different ball game and a different Drake since Brody fouled out. When number 51 Brody fouled out, they no longer have that strong presence underneath the basket. Andre Jamovsky, just a 60% free throw shooter during the season. And he misses the first. If he makes even one of these, it's going to make a, a very, very difficult uh, game for Drake to come back in. And the second goes through five-point lead for WSU with 24.7 seconds left. Drake is going to come, and they want to score very quickly here. They don't care if it's a two or a three, and they do a quick lay in 18.5 seconds left. Washington inbounds the ball, and I don't know why Drake's wasting so much time to foul here. Three-point game here. I know they wanted it to go into the hands of a worse free throw shooter, but uh, you can't let that much time go off the clock. Just 14.3 seconds left in this game. Uh, number 23, John Mc Jackamowski will go back. Uh, that's Enright. He just fouled out with four points, so that's two foul odds for Drake. And, you know, maybe they did make the right decision because they got Jakimovsky back at the line again. I'm not sure why Washington's not pulling him out of the game right now. And he makes the first. A four-point lead again for Washington State. 14.3 seconds left in this game. Possession arrow goes to Washington, and he makes the second. Five-point lead for Washington State, and Drake's going to try to score very quickly again. There's a three-pointer from the outside, in and out, misses, and Washington State gets the rebound, and that should do it. They will run the clock out, and Washington State has defeated number 10, Drake, 66 61 here in Omaha. What a fabulous game. And a game where they started the, that second half just atrociously. Uh, they went in at halftime up by four in the game, winning by five. But in between there, they went down by as much as eight points in the second half. Um, I don't think they scored for the first three and a half minutes of the first half. Washington State will now face number two, Iowa State, on Saturday. That is no enviable task, but a big win here. They go on to the second round. Iowa State crushed South Dakota State 82-65 to earlier today. Of course, South Dakota was the 15 seed. I don't think Iowa State faced anything as far as the defensive pressure that Washington State brings. And Kyle Smith, this is his first NCAA tournament win since 2008. A big win for Washington State and uh, for the Cougars, and big, big win for Washington State, period. Washington brings both of their teams from the tournament into the second round. Now Gonzaga blowing out McNeese earlier, and now Washington State winning a hard-fought battle against Drake. Upset alert. Sanford only down four to Kansas. Let's go! Sanford and Kansas. Nobody go anywhere. We got more basketball, guys. All right, where's that one at? If you want to watch along for that one, it is on TBS, Kansas leading by just four. This would be another 13-4 up seed. The sec uh, well, it was a 14-3 earlier. 
But uh, 553 left in this game in the second half. Uh, Kansas leading by just four. So we're going to head over there. North Carolina State has officially upset Texas Tech. That game is over. So if you're just finishing up this game, um, if you're watching along, you can head over to TBS. Otherwise, you can just listen in, and I will try to make it like you are there. Samford at the line, down by four. Ryland Jones at the line, 552 left in this game. Hits the first free throw. 79-76 Kansas. Samford within three. Winner of this game plays Gonzaga. So, well, go Samford then, because they got to be exhausted if they pull this off. He misses the second. Kansas with the rebound. Three-point lead for Kansas with the ball. 79-76, 541, 540, 39-38 left in the game. A three-pointer from the outside. Number 25 in and out. Sanford with the rebound. And they have the ball with a chance to tie. Samford 8 for 14 from the three-point line. Kansas just 2 for 12. And that's what kept Samford in this game. And what? Are you kidding me? What a play for Samford. Oh, no, no foul, but he gets it to go. It's a one-point ball game. Kansas City with the ball. 79-78. Upset alert. 13 for Samford. Hey, Robert or somebody else, if you can put an upset alert in the chat and let people know uh, we got a chance of a number 13 seed beating a 4 seed here, I'd appreciate it. And Kansas scores there. Kansas back up by 3. Samford with the ball. Pass to the inside and fouled. Gonzaga's going to dust up whoever wins this game. All right, Riley Allen Spock at the line. Barely hits the first of two, but just have to get it in the basket. All right, one more, and he has a chance to tie this ball game. And misses the second. Is that out? Who's that out on, though? Let's watch the replay. Everything just seems to be going and it was out on Kansas. Samford ball. So Samford will inbound with another chance to tie. 428 left in this game. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk it that Samford would be in the position to upset number four, Kansas? But here we are. Oh, and Kansas going for the steal. They're not able to keep it in bounds, though. It'll go back to Samford. And probably should be a point, a uh, second or two off the clock. Just two points in the last three minutes and 11 seconds for Kansas. Absolute scoring drought. Kansas hasn't seen a drought like this since the Dust Bowls. And look at the pass inside at number 35 again. And Kansas has no choice but to foul him. That's going to be number one, Dickinson. Oh, and it is not a shooting foul. So very uh, smart foul, I guess, there on Dickinson. Sanford will have to inbound again. 4.15 left in this game. Seven left on the shot clock. And they're going to have to shoot it. Are they going to let the shot clock expire? Oh, he almost made that somehow. 
But Kansas with the ball and a two-point lead. Still four minutes left to play in this game. Dickinson, 19 points and seven rebounds on the game. That's going to be a goal tend, I believe. Yes. Hopefully not a foul as well if you're Samford, but I don't think so. Let's, let's watch this. Yeah, it was definitely on the way down. I mean, great effort on the block, but that's definitely a goaltend. All right, guys, don't forget to keep it active in the chat. That's one of the things YouTube told me uh, it helps promote channels. Uh, we were up in the 40s there for a moment, so... Uh, that makes me pretty happy. If we can get into the 40s on at least one game every day, uh, this channel is going to be well on its way to success, I think, by the end of March Madness. Can't tell you how much I appreciate the Fights of Friends family continuing uh, to come in and watch March Madness basketball Whatever we do on in here, you guys are here for the community, and you are down, and it's just uh, it's just a humbling thing. It uh, you know really means a lot to me. So thank you very much. And to the new people today, the new people that came in uh, for basketball, the new subscribers and stuff. Yeah, hey, look forward. Uh, to adding to this community. Kansas uh, definitely not in control of this game, but looking like a little bit more in control with the four-point lead here. Three fifty-four left in this ball game. Don't forget the fights with friends, people. Like I said, big Bellator, early Bellator tomorrow. Um, actually, let me tell you guys what time we're going to be doing this tomorrow. I was going to look at other games here. What time we were going to jump in here. There's so many NCAA games to be covering, too. So let's start that game at 1 tomorrow, I believe, then. Or, excuse me, we'll start uh, Bellator at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Uh, because I want to cover San Diego State and UAB. That's a 12 and a 5 seed. And I think, I, I think UAB has got a chance of pulling an upset there. And Kansas will go to the line up by 4. Still plenty of time here. Samford, they just they have to be mentally tough and stay in this. And Kansas misses that free throw. Samford with the ball down by four. 347, 46, 45 left in the ball game. And 21 driving misses. And back to Kansas. And now Kansas is going to start running a little bit of clock off. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Oh, there's a steal for Sanford, though. Jones came up with the ball, but ran out of real estate over there. Yeah, as I say, I thought he might have stepped out of bounds, and he did. Right there. Great effort there, though, for number 21 for Sanford. Maybe if they make it to the second round, they'll be able to afford to put their names above their numbers on their jerseys. Hate to see a team that can't even afford to sew their names in. Alright, and the ball will go back to Samford. 
four-point game. Just when you think Kansas is going to start, you know, creating a little bit of space, Sanford makes a play, Kansas makes a mistake, and uh, they're right back in, and you have another tie ball game. 11 points for Harris today, but he's got four fouls. Oh, and Sanford almost turned the ball over there. Desperate dive from Kansas. And Sanford attacking the rim, but not able to get it to go down. Back to Kansas. Oh, and there's a three from the corner. All alone. You cannot leave that man all alone like that. Number 25, Kansas, goes up by seven. And that's the space they've been looking for. And we got a player down. He's at 17. And it's your. I think he's cramping again. Yep, and it's the other leg. Number 14 for Sanford. Oh, leg cramps. Second second time of the day here for him for leg cramps. Absolute right read. I don't know what you guys did for leg cramps in your athletics, but I remember in wrestling judo, we just, somebody had a leg cramp, and you just take your hands and bam, just give yourself a dead leg or give your give your partner a dead leg. I mean, you know, that was in the 90s. I guess they probably have better techniques now. But, yeah, you just sit there like you're tenderizing meat. Now, and he is really limping here. It's a three-possession game with just under three to play. It's number 14, Aker. He's going to have to come out. 21 points, eight rebounds on the game for him, for Sanford. they got to do something. To whatever's going on, if this is his leg cramp, stretch him out. Man, isn't there a like a, a quick little miracle to make the cramps go away? Get that guy some liquid IV. All right, Sanford. Inbounding the ball with a seven-point deficit. Points in the paint. That's how Kansas has got it done. 52 points to just 22 in the point for Samford. And there's number 21 passing it to the perimeter. Three-point shot. Wow! What a collision. Man, Jones, mouthpiece out. Man, he just about got a concussion there. He's got scratches on his back. He looks like he's been a bunch of thorns. Oof. Looks like he's been in a, a, a fight with, a, I don't know, a pack of mountain cougars or something. He's going to stay in and just walk it down court. Tough dude. 238 2 minutes and 38 seconds left in this game. You know he's not coming. All right, 2.38 left in the game. Thank you for everybody that stayed 11 in the chat. And thank you, Billy, for giving me the idea. Let me know this game was so close so we could keep this going. Kansas at the line, though, up by seven already on a one and one, and they miss, and Sanford gets the rebound. 233, 32, 31, 230 left in this half. Kansas just 3 of 10 for free throws from the half. And go, wow, I don't know why he shot that, but they get the rebound. A long three. And that's going to be a foul on Kansas. Number two will go to the line. So Jaden Campbell, number two, the guard from Samford, 84% free throw shooter during the season, hits the first. Even if he hits this one, it's still a five-point deficit, and Kansas will have the ball. And he hits the second. All right. Still a lot of time left here, though. 219 left in this game. <laughs> oh, and they just about caused a five second violation there, but nobody left at the basket. And they have to foul. Like 
Sanford did a good job of stacking the line so that they had a hard time inbounding the pass, almost causing a five-second violation. But the effect of that is there was nobody on the other side. They had to chase down uh, Dewan Harris Jr., and the only way they could stop him was to foul him. And he hits the first. Six-point lead once again for Kansas. 2-16 left in the game. And he hits the second. And that's the most space Kansas has had in a while. A seven-point lead with just over two minutes to go. Sanford needs to score quickly. And they attack the hoop and draw the foul at the two-minute warning. I know there's no two-minute warning in basketball, but... Jaden was just there, and he's returning. And Jaden back at the line. Jaden Campbell drew contact, 12 points on the night. Looking to... Got it back to a five-point game. Misses the first. Well, he's been over an 80% free throw shooter during the regular season. Um, he has not been an 80% free throw shooter today. And he misses the second. And Kansas will get the rebound. And this is this is just the, the breaks that Kansas has been waiting for. Sorry, guys, that's something in my eye. It's killing me. All right, 10 seconds left on the shot clock. 135 on the game clock. And there's a jumper. Almost goes. Sanford with the rebound down by seven. And there's a three-pointer. It misses, but they get the rebound. They're going to shoot another one. There's number two, and he hits the three-pointer. And it's back to a four-point ball game. Samford refuses to go away. Whether they win this or not, you cannot say that they didn't make every effort to win this ball game. That's why I love March Madness so much. For those that haven't watched it in past seasons, maybe you're getting the idea. Of why me and Billy like this uh, tournament so much. <clears throat> Hopefully whoever wins this is so worn out that Gonzaga just walks over him. High scoring ball game. I don't know what the over under was on this, but they're at 172. I, I guarantee it wasn't that high. Well, I don't know. Did you see what the over under was on this game, Billy? All right, four-point ball game. Just one nineteen left in this game. Can't one eighteen. Kansas up by four. Number thirteen seed Samford. I mean, they have been dogging Kansas. They've just been nipping at their heels all day. They've had a few leads, looking to get this big upset. But Kansas has the ball with a four-point lead here. 118 left in the game. It's not quite to the point that Samford needs to foul, but it's getting there. If Kansas can take uh, close to 30 seconds off of the clock here and triple team at half court, they're going to find somebody open again down there. No, and they don't, though. 
Kansas is going to take their time here. They're going to run more time off. It's getting closer to the one-minute mark. Ten on the shot clock. And they throw it away, and that'll go to Samford. 55.2 seconds left in the game. Samford down by four with the ball. <clears throat> that pass intended for Adams Jr. of Kansas goes out of bounds. And I think they're going to look. The last one that touched it, that's obvious to us that it was. I, I think they're probably reviewing for the time more than anything here. Oh, S oh, Sam. Yeah, there it is. No, Kansas touched it right there. Oh, he tried that's to get it back. Because Marshall did get a finger on it, and then Adams got Marshall two. thought he touched it last. I, see, his head was turned. I'm not sure if he's seen right, Adams. Right there, there, yeah. yeah, no, he, he, look at his head and eyes were following Adams the entire time. And we'll see how the officials see it, but that, that's how I see it, is that Kansas touched it last. 88-84. Sanford has never led. Kansas was up 61-40 to at one point in this game. Kansas Jayhawks, 18 turnovers today, season high. Their average was 11.6 during the season. I want to clean that up. 18 turnovers. But some of that just has to be attributed to the type of pressure that Sanford brings consistently. And if Kansas, if Kansas doesn't like Sanford's pressure, they're going to get a lot more of that from Gonzaga. Very hard style to play. We've got 55.9 seconds remaining. Big decision by the officials here. I can't imagine. And they are going to say it's Sanford ball. Okay. I was going to say, I, unless I'm blind. And Sanford has the possession arrow as well. Uh, they are down by four, but they can cut it to a possession here. Remember, Kansas has not shot well from the free throw in the second half. Taking a minute to uh, tie his shoes there. Number four is Samford. That's important. And he will inbound the ball. 54, 53, 52, 51. 50 seconds left in this ball game. Can number 13 Samford pull off the upset against number four Kansas? Out to the three-point line. Decides not to take it in the monster jam. And Sanford is within two. What a slam. Talk about bringing down the roof. Nobody's getting in the way. Kansas, you see number 25? He's like, oh, I, I, I might challenge that. He sees him flying towards him, and he just got the frick out of the way. He's like, oh, my goodness. We are not doing this. And it's a two-point ball game with 38 seconds left. God, do I love this tournament. And like I said, possession arrow is towards Samford. So if they could somehow make a tie ball, uh, get a tie up here, they'll receive the ball. A lot of nervous Kansas fans right now. They did not expect to be sitting here in a nail biter with number 13 seed Samford. We're not even born the last time they were in an NCAA tournament. 38.1 seconds left. <clears throat> And what was it earlier? A 14 seed over a 13. This would be a 13 over a 4. And Sanford Teller raised the roof. Let's get this crowd going. And Sanford traveled well. They are going nuts on the sideline as Kansas will inbound the ball with 38.1 seconds left. And they get it. 
And they almost can't inbound it, but nobody there. And number 24 able to slam it home for Kansas. And Samford down on the other side. Turns the ball over. What? No, that's going to be a tie-up. Possession error, Samford. And Samford took a big risk bringing everybody for the full court press and they gave up an easy basket at the other side. <clears throat> Twenty two point two seconds left here. I think they're going to review this to see how much time's left on the clock. Yeah, we got another review here. I know people get frustrated with that, but you know, they don't do this until the last two minutes. You got to get these last calls right. Right now we've got 22.2. That is a one second difference on the shot clock and the game clock. Four point ball game. Sanford will inbound the ball. 22 seconds on the game clock, 21 on the shot clock. Let's see how Shot clock not important at this point. And Sanford will shoot a quick three. And he makes it. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? It's a one point game. 19.9 .9 seconds left. And Sanford drains the three. And Sanford will. Oh no, they can't foul. They lead 24 again for the dunk. And he misses. Timberlake fouled in the air. You got to hope that's not a, fright, a flagrant. That was a clean block. That's nothing but ball. And you got to review that. You got to get the ball to Sanford down by one. That is one of the best blocks you will see in basketball. Wow. There is no way that's a foul. That's a 150% ball right there. Oh, and Timberlake. you got to review this. Why? 14.7 seconds left, and Timberlake hits the first. What a horrible call here. Even if he hits the next one, it's still a one-possession game. Big free throw here for Nicholas Timberlake. 18 points on the day. Five of six from the free throw line. And there's a timeout from Samford. They're going to try to ice him. Well, all three of us, I think Dana would echo it. And she watches the replay. In her yeah. That, that is a block shot. That is 110% a block shot. That is all ball. You have to allow these guys to play defense. Nonetheless, 91-89 Kansas with one more free throw for Kansas to shoot. Samford nailed the three a moment ago to get within a point. I think Samford thought they had fouled too because they didn't immediately start going to the other side of the court. I guess you know, the play was whistled dead, but why there was not an official review on that, I have no idea. They've reviewed everything else inside of two minutes. Yeah, they should be. Yeah, the officials, they, they might have just robbed Samford of an upset there. I know it's not an easy call, but that's why you have the review. 
and they chose not to use it. That tells me that that Kansas is going to switch every pick and roll. They don't want any confusion. They don't want any mishaps. We're going to switch every pick and roll, force Sanford inside the three-point line. And a dirty move by the officials here to call a non-foul on Sanford with the block. They have to take a desperation three, and it's almost in. And Jackson saved it off a short with 2.4. And a diving move by Kansas, but saved by the referees. I don't care what anybody says. I got to call that a save by the officials. That was not a foul. Sanford should have gotten the ball. They would have went to the other end. They may have scored. They may have not, but they were down by one. And, and now what are we reviewing? Now we got an official review. I know what they're reviewing. I know there was a lot of physicality as that ball was going out, but why did you not review the play earlier? That just looks dirty. So Kansas is 2.4 away from a win. Oh, he was out of bounds when he threw that. I, don't, I, I thought that was going to go straight to Kansas, but... It's unclear on the on the replay. Now they put time back on the clock. That's what they were looking for, maybe more than anything else. Okay. Went from 2.4 to 3. Oh, so Jackson, he was up in the air. He threw it off of a Samford player. So it will go to Kansas. 3.9 seconds left on the shot clock. Possession, arrow, Kansas. Well, they're going to have to foul immediately. As as yeah, if this foul is going to go to Kansas, it's pretty foul. much over for Samford. Murphy's a good free throw shooter. Timberlake's a good free throw shooter. Harris shoots about 78. The officials still have not made a decision, though. They still have not said clearly that the ball is going to Kansas. Yeah, I think Kansas is probably going to drop a play for any one of those guys to get the ball, but long as it's one of their guys that's shooting 75 and up, they're not going to really care. All they really need is just one free throw. The to see if Hunter Dickinson comes out of that Kansas huddle. And it is officially, it will be Kansas ball with 3.9 seconds and left on the clock. Out. He's not the guy that's throwing it in. No, he's not. They're going to foul him immediately if he gets his hands on it. So almost impossible really here for Samford. But three-point ball game with 3.9 seconds. Drake's going to need a quick foul. They would need probably two misses. And good job by Kansas of getting a lot of time off of the clock. Three seconds. There's just .9 seconds left now. So really, whether they make or miss the first free throw, uh, if they miss the second on purpose, it's, it's, it's going to get very, very difficult for Sanford to come back right now. First free throw for Kansas, he hits it easily. And that's a four-point lead. And if you're Kansas, I mean, you might. I, I would probably purposely miss this one, and then the the time's gonna expire. Either way, it's not really enough time to score four points. I don't think without Kansas doing something just ridiculously stupid. And they do miss the second one, but it's not gonna matter. Even if Sanford made that, which they didn't. So 93-89 is the final score here. Kansas escapes a nail biter here. 93-89, man. That, and Samford, I know they're not going to be celebrating, but this is the play they're going to continue to look back on. Number five gets the beautiful block. And it was called a foul, and it was not. And there's a lot of plays in a game. That's just that's one I think feel like they should have reviewed Gonzaga. All right, Kansas will go on to play Gonzaga on Saturday. All right.
my guys. Thank you again for tuning in for another fun night of March Madness. Final score here, Kansas 93, Samford 89. So we will start Bellator tomorrow at 1, but I'm looking at this. I would like to, I'm going to try to get up, and I would like to do UAB San Diego State at 1045. That's, that's the game I'm going to schedule to start tomorrow. So if you want to watch along, that one's going to be on TNT. Uh, San Diego State is a six and a half point favorite, but a lot of people are looking at, at UAB with a good chance to pull off the upset there, I, including myself and Billy. As always, I love you. I respect you. And I'll see you fine asses next time.